Welcome back. It's 651. Time for your morning news now. After almost four decades, law enforcement officials are filing charges in the 1985 murder of a UWL student. 60 year old truck driver Michael Pop of Toma is accused of killing Terry Dalloway. She went missing on Valentine's Day 1985. Her body was found four days later in Vernon County. Officers first interviewed Pop in March of 85 about the case, but it wasn't until September 2022 that officers confirmed Pop was a match for DNA found on Dalloway's body. But what I can say is there's been advancements over the years, and those advancements have, have helped um, make identification in, in many cases. He's being held on a million dollar bond. An investigation is underway after authorities found a body yesterday near Wygant Park. Just before 7.30 a.m., La Crosse police were called to the 1500 block of Cass Street for a report of a deceased person. Police say it appears to be an isolated incident that is still under investigation. We will update you when we learn more. New this morning, an active search and rescue operation is underway in Yellowstone National Park for a Winona man. 22-year-old Austin King was last heard from September 17th when he called friends and family from the summit of Eagle Peak. Since Saturday, 85 personnel, two helicopters, a search dog team, and a drone have been combing the area. Searchers report snow accumulations up to six feet deep on Eagle Peak. Also new this morning, La Crosse may soon see a major change in city leadership. The Common Council set to vote next month on creating a new city administrator position. According to city officials, that role would develop and present the budget, coordinate daily operations, and ensure departments enforce council policies. The position isn't meant to replace Mayor Mitch Reynolds. Instead, it will allow him to focus on executive duties. Wisconsin Senate candidate Eric Hubdy made a campaign stop at a Toma Cranberry Bog. He highlighted the challenges he says Wisconsin farmers face due to inflation and government regulation. Howdy argues instead of more regulations, Washington should listen to farmers and help them succeed. Wisconsin, the agricultural community is such an enormously important part of Wisconsin. And we have to make sure our farmers uh, can thrive and survive because a lot of farmers are going through a lot of difficulty today. Hovde also visited the La Crosse Center where he spoke at the Wisconsin County Association's annual conference. Yesterday, President Biden delivered his final address to the UN General Assembly. The president said now is the time to finalize the Gaza ceasefire deal that the UN Security Council approved in June. It includes the immediate release of hostages held by Hamas. Today, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky will address the UN gathering. Brett Favre is revealing a Parkinson's diagnosis. The former Packers quarterback disclosed his condition during a congressional hearing. He was questioned about alleged misuse of welfare funds in Mississippi, but denies any wrongdoing and faces no criminal charges. He estimates that he's suffered thousands of concussions during his 20-year NFL career. Oktoberfest is almost here. Every year, the festival creates a big impact on La Crosse's economy. From the bars to clothing stores, the festival is anticipated to bring in about $26 million for the city. The owner of Marcos Apparel, that is a clothing store in downtown, she says one of their best weeks for business is just before the festival. We do see a lot of foot traffic the week of Oktoberfest, but honestly, once the fest begins, uh, it turns to people enjoying the fest grounds, the parade, uh, the tapping, and so uh, we see the traffic slow down a little bit once Friday and Saturday roll around. Oktoberfest runs tomorrow through Sunday. Yeah, and for that, we're also looking at sunnier conditions for that weekend as well. But right now, we're dealing with some patchy to dense fog, not just over La Crosse right now, but across the region. And that's going to last all the way into the 10 o'clock hour. This morning, highs are looking up, though. Widespread 70s for you as you get into it. In fact, tomorrow, different story. We're going to see some 80s mixed in. So we'll go 70s and 80s, and we'll take it into warm conditions for La Crosse and Eau Claire. Hey, take it into this forecast for you there. Take this in. We're looking at upper 70s today, low 80s for the next several days going into to, uh, the weekend and then upper 70s again for Monday going into Tuesday with a big drop in local temperatures and we'll see cooler conditions with some slight warming coming back again into next week. Thank you, Art. Well, today is National Lobster Day. You could cook up some delicious lobster at home or maybe visit your favorite seafood restaurant. Not red lobster, though. The crustaceans live at the bottom of the ocean. Should they avoid a trap that would bring them to your dinner table, some lobsters can live up to 100 years. And they weren't always a delicacy, with lobsters very plentiful around the time European settlers reached North America. 
Yeah, I have heard that, right? They're they're so expensive now, but we kind of created that. Yeah, like, they're yeah. They, what are they considered? They were like the cockroaches of the sea or something like that beforehand. Mm -hmm. It's all about marketing, man. I have heard that too, and I hate cockroaches, but I love lobster. It, yes, I know. I I, I I know you do. You know you. <laughs> yeah. All right, Art. Right. Thank you for starting your morning with us. Go get some lobster. Put some lobster in your eggs, right? And we'll see you back here at noon. <laughs>